Hey, was Rocketeers, it's Wednesday. Before I tell you my Fossum fact, which is pretty freaking Fossum, I need to share a very disturbing un -fossum fact with you that's kind of hurting me deep inside. My un fact is that I live in Princeton, New Jersey, which is a pretty cool place to live. In fact, it's so cool that Rufus Wainwright is going to be playing at the local theater in town on Saturday. I love Rufus Wainwright! And I can't go to see him because Saturday is uh, the Seder for Passover, and I love Passover, it's my favorite holiday ever, but Rufus Wainwright's in my hometown! So anyway, my actual Fossum fact also has to do with how pr cool Princeton is and the kind of cool people who come here. My choir at school, we've toured all over the world. Um, we got to go to Sweden last year and that was really fun. And we are being visited by a choir from South Africa. They're going all over the United States. We're just a pit stop for them between New York and Philly. I mean, they're going, like, everywhere around the East Coast and down and South and it's... wow. Anyway, they got to play for us today in choir and they're going to do a concert tonight. And they did some really, really cool stuff. And um, their choir director taught us a bit about the history of South Africa, the history of South African music. And what he told us was that, um, you know, South Africa is famous for apartheid and stuff like that. And when they had their revolution, it was relatively bloodless compared to other famous revolutions like the French or the American or any other. And uh, he said that... Um, some sort of famous historian said that it was the only revolution conducted in four-part harmony because South Africans sing all the time, no matter what they're doing, whether it's a wedding or a funeral or a political function. I want to go. That sounds awesome. The choir is having a concert tonight at my school, and uh, I will take that footage and I will put it on my personal channel. I'll put a link in the sidebar there. Um, I'm running kind of behind on updating that channel with like footage from stuff, so it will be up there eventually. I'll also get footage up from Anything Goes, and um, just, yeah, I'm behind. Julia Katz uh, challenged us to introduce you to our parents, so um, let's go on a tour of the house and do that. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. What you doing? Meeting the paper. That's fascinating. Could you wave and say hi? Hello. Thank you. You're I appreciate welcome. that. As I mentioned, uh, Passover is on Saturday, and so we are preparing for that, and we're cleaning the house, and my mom is cooking. Hi, mom. Hi, honey. Uh oh. Am I being filmed? Yeah. Well, actually, this is being filmed too. But Passover um, I was, extravaganza. I was challenged to introduce the internet to my parents, and this looks really good. Unless you're vegetarian, which I'm sure many of our viewers are. Your sister would not appreciate this Not so much. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to talk about. Oh, um, in Wizard Rock news, as you know, Lauren from The Moaning Myrtles and Lena from The Butterbeer Experience are, want to go on tour this spring. Um, they're calling it Akia Bodyguard. Um, it's going to be a really exciting tour, but the thing is they're having a bit of trouble booking libraries and they really want the tour to happen, but they can't if they don't have a place to go. I'll put a link in the sidebar also to the Akio Bodyguard MySpace page and to Lauren's um, personal YouTube and Lena's YouTube. Um, if you live in any of those areas where they're trying to be and you know a library that would like to host them or if you like have any ideas for them, um, please tell them because I really want that tour to happen and they really want that tour to happen and um, yeah, helping is good. Helping is good? Helping is good, yes. I said that, I'm sticking with it. Amy, I'll see you tomorrow. Fossum!